Thanks. Hello, everyone. This is Dominique from uh, from Belgium. Um, so this session is uh, is a sponsored session by uh, by Drop Solid. Um, we're a diamond sponsor this year, uh, also last year. So this session is about uh, creating personalized digital experiences for agencies and businesses. So quickly about me, I started out as a software engineer and then I founded DropSolid in, uh, in 2013. Uh, we started out as a service provider here in, uh, in Belgium around Drupal. And this required me to learn a lot about marketing, about digital marketing. Uh, so, and this is how, how our product um, also came to be. I've uh, been in the Drupal community for quite some time. Um, my interests are mainly in, in digital experiences, business strategy and, and technology. So this session, well, Drupal, you might know it, it might be not enough anymore to, uh, to be in, uh, to have a healthy agency business. Um, in 2013, when we started out as a, as a Drupal shop, uh, that def definitely was, uh, was something to, uh, to do business, but right now customers are, are just uh, asking for more. And what I ask for is they want us to help them achieve their business goals. And that's where uh, the digital experiences will help and, and a tool like a digital experience platform. And um, in the presentation, we'll, we'll see how that can increase your strategic relationship with, uh, with your customers. So basically, we want to talk about uh, a digital experience platform and, and uh, to know a little bit what it is, I'll go into it uh, deeper um, further in the presentation. But for now, just remember, it's a content management system with a customer data management platform, which allows you to use data to build personalized experience, both in the content management and in the marketing automation uh, you're doing with it. Now to just quickly show you uh, the idea what we what we are trying to aim for, uh, we made a little video. Just uh, let's check that out first. The Drop Solid Experience Cloud enables you to optimize the customer experience, resulting in higher conversion rates and better customer satisfaction. Let's have a look at how this works. We have our anonymous surfer searching in Google for flower piece. There we go. Well, look at that. The first result she gets is Florista, a website with a fully integrated drop solid experience cloud. Our still anonymous visitor is browsing the homepage. She's scanning through the themes of the new collection, looking at the featured products and taking a closer look at the upcoming workshops. While she's doing all that, the personalization AI is using his magic. By using machine learning, the AI identifies different segments of visitors and tries to fit our visitor in one of those segments. On the Florista website, there are three specific segments. There's the B2B prospect, the online shopper, and the explorer. He or she is now looking at the latest inspiration from the blog and is showing an interest in the first article. There's a great step-by-step -step guide on how to make your own flower arrangements. And there we go. The AI has identified this visitor as an explorer. That's how long it takes. Our explorer gets to the end of the blog article and fills in a form to receive a free download. Great. Now our explorer has a name and we even have her mailing address and consent to start sending newsletters. Our anonymous visitor isn't that anonymous anymore. Let's have a look at what information we've received. So, her name is Sophia, Sophia Mertens. Her email address is sophia.mertens at gmail.com. And we know that she's an explorer. We even know what she looks like from the picture connected to her Google account. The log shows when she first visited the website and what actions she has performed. And now the fun part. Let's put that information to good use. The next time Sophia visits the Florista website, the homepage looks slightly different. We know she's an explorer, not an online shopper or business, so the content has changed to reflect that. The subscription form for the workshops has been put at the top of the page, just the way Sophia likes it. As an explorer, she's eager to learn and get creative herself. She's not looking to buy a flower piece, not at this point at least. 
How great would it be if Sophia also received newsletters tailored to her needs? Oh, there's a new email. Let's see what's in it. Wow, workshops, tutorials, DIY packages, exactly what she was looking for. Now that's a great user experience. All right, so now we know what the aim is. Uh, so we saw we saw in the video we have Sophia. Uh, we have uh, we have the built uh, the persona for uh, for Sophia. Um, first time she came on an uh, Instagram uh, on the Instagram channel. Uh, we we acquired her attention. Then um, the website activated uh, activated her. We recognized her as a an uh, someone who is looking for uh, inspiration. Um, and this led to, to a conversion further on the website, uh, which allowed us to send her the, um, the email with the, with the download for the white paper. She then got the, the white paper to, uh, with, all these, uh, with all these tips. And now we're starting to nurture her by first changing the website, engaging with her in a, a personalized way based on the behavior data that, uh, that she, she gave us. Um, we also were able to, to build a personalized email for her, uh, which further helped us to, to build the, uh, yeah, the relationship with her. So this is a really, really nice video, you think? And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's good, uh, good marketing. Um, but how is it actually made? Well, um, we used, uh, obviously we used Drupal to, uh, to create a website. Um, we used Matic. For, uh, for building the, the emails that are being sent. And um, we use the forms, the form automation, which, which we'll be all be seeing in a second, is an integration between, uh, between Drupal and, uh, and Matic. And the key component here is also Unomi, which is a customer data platform, which allows you to uh, collect all that behavior data uh, run the machine learning algorithms on top of it, which, which are part of the Drop Solid experience platform and get the segments to Drupal and Matic. So this comes down to five steps. Uh, so first uh, we're going to get insight in, in our visitors. We're going to try and build these segments because you also saw the B2B shopper, uh, the B2B uh, customer. You also saw the, the online shopper, which are the other segments. Uh, and then we're going to, once we have these segments, we're going to use them to personalize across channels. And then we'll get insight in our campaigns and we can we can further enhance. And let's see how, how that works uh, in reality. Oh, and this is all done uh, using first party cookies uh, on, uh, on which means on your own domain. And we've built it like this. So in the Drop Solid Experience platform on the CDP tab, you'll see a profile overview of all the profiles that are coming in. Uh, you'll get uh, all the events of this, uh, this website. So that means everything someone is clicking on, text that they are selecting, links that they are surfing on. So which is much more than, than you would select in, let's say in, uh, in Matic, which also uh, does, uh, does a lot of tracking, uh, but it captures uh, a lot more. It also takes into account, for example, uh, the meta tags on, on, uh, on, on the page. Uh, we're also started to use the RDF framework to get even more data and context. So uh, a, lo a lot of information is generated just by user surfing on, uh, on your website. Um, and then we have the, the discover tab where the AI can help you. It's basically, it's a clustering algorithm that allows you to build groups, uh, groups that segment the data. Um, and if your site is built correctly, it should be fairly easy for the AI to recognize the different personas you have built your website for. Um, so this gives us the, the segment set, the explorers, the online shoppers, the B2B, and maybe we have like a special, a special one, uh, which we can build manually. Uh, if we're doing the, uh, a campaign for, let's say for Mother's Day. Um, if we go further, then we can also uh, select any property. Ad. So that goes from information from uh, our browser to information from uh, which parts we are clicking on. All, all that data is, uh, is selectable. 
Um, so that means that we can build whatever campaign we want. Now, then we're going to use that in uh, inside Drupal. So using the layout builder here, we're going to uh, build our uh, our blocks on our page. And in these blocks, it will be able to select the, the segment uh, Unomi is sending to the Drupal website. So this way we will be able to build uh, custom built uh, blocks specifically for that segment. So, um, this will give us uh, this website and we have a very handy browser plugin, which allows you to see the website as an explorer, as a B2B shopper, checking out uh, how, how the experiences are for every different segment you have been defining. And then in Matic, we do the same thing. Uh, Matic and Unomi integration, make sure that we'll be sending the, uh, the different segments to Matic, which allows you to, uh, to build campaigns uh, on top of uh, on top of Matic. Uh, so what you're seeing here is the, the Matic interface. Um, and in Matic, uh, as you know, you can, uh, there's an email builder and you can use every block, everything you, you paste in, in Matic, you can say, okay, it starts with this type of segment. And these are then the emails that will be sent to the, the, right, uh, the right customer. Um, then you'll be setting up flows, sending, for example, if you want to say a newsletter, you can send different newsletters to every segment. Um, same thing with forms. You can build a, for, a form builder with flows behind it. Uh, like if you want to do the Mother's Day campaign, for example, uh, you'll be able to get uh, a customized flow and personalize this flow and send different emails to different segments uh, Increasing your campaign effectiveness, basically you'll get a more conversion uh, if this is personalized. And then it's just that easy in Drupal to add a block uh, with a Matic paragraph and you'll select it and the form will be uh, on the website. So it's, uh, it's as simple as that. Uh, content managers in, in Drupal don't have to really uh, change their way of working. There's not something laid on, on top of it. We're still working with, uh, with Drupal. Drupal is just getting more data uh, to work with. And then the last uh, element is, um, is our uh, Google Analytics integration where uh, a custom dimension is being sent to uh, Google Analytics, which is segmenting the data that is already there and it will uh, show you the different conversion rates for all your segments. Whatever segment you'll be defining, you will getting these conversions for that segment, uh, which means it will give you a far gra more granular uh, view of how your customers are behaving and converting and spending their, their time on site uh, on your, your website, um, giving you a lot of uh, analytics about uh, what you are doing. Will also give you an an, an, an option to uh, to increase uh, these metrics. So um, this, uh, if you're doing new campaigns, you will you will see it here if it's effective for uh, for which segment. So for agencies now and agencies and businesses, uh, how how do you sell uh, a DXP to uh, to to your customer uh, and and why as a business would you would you want uh, want to buy this well first thing to look at is the the digital roadmap so almost every company has a website nowadays and does somewhat of a, a digital marketing and in the end in the ideal world we want to have all our customers having a one on one uh, experience like a, a really personalized experience uh, which where, where we have a, uh, we are measuring on net promoter score and customer lifetime value but there's a lot in between so what we've experienced is that we we got to go uh, step by step uh, so this this starts with building the right website uh, segmenting it uh, segmenting email uh, making sure the personas, the journeys, everything fits. And then you can start building uh, the marketing automation, the personalization. So it's something that goes uh, step by step. 
So although we, we can project uh, this vision, okay, that this is where, where we are going, we will be getting there uh, step by step. And you don't, you can start with, uh, with a well-built Drupal site with segments uh, and then start adding the marketing automation and the personalization in different stages. Because in the end, uh, we want to have the, the customer centrally and we want to be able to connect with him through all these different channels in different contexts, personalized to them. And then the second uh, piece we want to understand is what the DXP actually is. So you might think it's a new way of marketing websites or uh, CMS systems, but actually, no, it's it's... It's bigger than that. It's as a biggest change as from HTML to CMS, uh, HTML website to CMS websites, as it is from CMS to DXP. And the big difference, the big difference is the experience. So everything is tailored around uh, the experience, knowing the customer. Um, well, we saw it in, in the example, what, what I'm, I'm talking about. And if we look at what the DXP is, uh, we can see that the management system has always been there in Drupal, uh, content management, security and administ administration, uh, the rules and rights, account services, knowledge collaboration. Uh, but if we look at the other side, like experience, uh, analytics and optimization, personalization, managing different experiences, Drupal does not have these capabilities uh, out of the box. And on the other side, uh, Drupal does not offer uh, AI out of the box. Uh, it does have the uh, architecture applic and application development framework. Uh, it integrates very well. Um, you can bring it to the cloud uh, on platforms like, uh, like DropSolid, for example. We have the, the fully integrated uh, developer uh, suite that uh, you can use to, to build and, and roll out your, your Drupal sites and run them in the cloud. But in general, the, the data uh, experience and AI part is, is not part uh, of Drupal. And we need these capabilities to compete to other systems in the market right now. Um, to further explain this, if we have like a business type of customer, we would say that uh, it's a system to, that allows you to communicate personalized to your, uh, the outside of your organizations, your customers, other stakeholders using your customer information, product information, the intelligence you have about the market. You would be talking to a more IT minded person, we would say like, just like your backend systems. On top of that, we have the, um, the experience layer, which makes sure that we're using that data uh, in a correct way and uh, we're able to uh, communicate with our customers personalized. We would be talking to uh, marketeers, we would say like, you're already doing a great effort in segmenting and finding like the right target audiences on all these ad platforms. Uh, so you're already doing all that personalization and segmentation. Why not let it land on something that also takes that into account and the tools that you are using like Matic, marketing automation or your video tools or even a chatbot can make use of that data of these segments uh, or as can your analytics software. So why not start to, to use that and to increase the effectiveness of your marketing campaigns? So that's what we have, Drupal, Matic, and you know me. It's an open digital experience platform. Um, we allow it to run both in, uh, in the cloud as on-premise on and the cloud platform that, uh, that comes with it uh, allows you to build on top of it. Um, how does it look like schematically? Well, you have the, the CMS and the commerce, well, which we all know from, uh, with, were built with Drupal. Um, we're collecting the data. This data is being uh, used to build segments. And then these segments are built in Matic and in Drupal. And of course, uh, DropSolid also offers the, um, the option to build with Drupal, but also with Matic using the cloud platform. You can develop on, on both these platforms. Uh, and in the future, we'll, uh, we'll open up even more. Um, so, and then the final thing as a business, uh, why, why would you invest in experience in the first place? Okay, 
obviously uh, your personalization it it will it will work but do we have any data around this and in fact we have um uh, we found several uh, research company studies uh, indicating that in investing in experience is really worth it. Like, in fact, 93% of, of projects uh, me measured a clear ROI. And the R ROI is to be found in increased customer satisfaction, increased revenue, lifetime value. But even in, in the perception of your brand is going up. Uh, also, if you're a if you might think but I'm a government or I'm, I'm a, a service providing a, a more B2B type of, uh, of, of company, um, well, even it reduces your cost of services. So if you have a lot of services automation on your website, personalize this and increase the experience and you will uh, also see a return on investment there. This is a, a fun one, I think, and uh, I, I'm, I'm ha I will be happy to see how it evolved after 2020, but at least if you would have invested in 2000, uh, you would have invested uh, $100 in a, in a satisfaction index stock portfolio, you would have, have outperformed the standard market by, uh, by five times. So this is like a more macroeconomic indicator that uh, experience is uh, is really giving you return on investment. And that's what we are talking about, return on experience. Um, I have some more research from personalization engines, which are uh, engines uh, outside Drupal, which are proprietary companies. Um, they've, been, they've been in that market before Drupal and now Drupal is really competing against these uh, these platforms. Um, so we see they already had cases built where they have more page views, they have increased email open rates, more use of the self-service features we, we've been talking about, just better service. And obviously e-commerce is a big one, higher order values, increased revenues, um, less abandoned cards, um, because of, uh, because of personalization. And it always comes down to these, uh, these three topics, uh, increasing customer lifetime value. So the more a customer is happy, the longer he will stay. Um, it will, he will also talk to other customers which will drive down your acquisition costs. So that's the cost to make a new customer. Um, and it will also drive down your operational costs and make you a lot more scalable because um, having a personalized experience will also drive down the number of phone calls your organization has to make or, or emails or, or other types of contact because the, the person engaging with your company will, uh, will have, have an, 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 an experience that is... Uh, that speaks for itself. So the need to, to, to contact you will be less. So what's the implication for agencies? Uh, as I told, like here in Belgium, Dropsol, it started out as a service provider and we still provide services in, uh, in the market, in the local market here. Um, well, we've experienced that going the DXP way, um, we were able to sell far more strategy Strategy being, uh, we could design journeys, we could design uh, how personas uh, are, we can also the UX part and design part of this is also uh, increasing. We have more, uh, more integration work, uh, more optimization, more optimization, and we, we really become a strategic partner for our customers. Um, well, we, we help the customer with a, a competitive advantage and it makes us far more connected with our customer. Because I think if you don't and you stay in a purely execution partner, uh, you'll have uh, lower margins, far more competition. It will be also harder to differentiate yourself. I think it's also less, less interesting uh, to stay purely in the, the CMS mode. So... Um, Trying to build experiences with your customers will put you uh, in, an, in a better position. 
how can you become become part of this well uh, we, we contribute a, a lot uh, like for example the the installer rocket ship the connection with uh, you know me uh, the matic paragraph if you want to know more talk to our cto nick finov um and also yeah you can uh, you can partner with us uh, outside belgium uh, we are building a, a partnership network um which allows anyone uh, who's uh, currently offering uh, Drupal to, to his customers to extend Drupal with these new capabilities and increase that strategic partners with, uh, partnership with its customers. So you can, you can sign up uh, at our website or come to the boot uh, afterwards uh, and we can, uh, we can have a chat and uh, we can talk on how, how that works of uh, becoming a partner. Um, so yeah, that was it. Um, if you have any questions, I will be uh, happy uh, to take them now. Or uh, if you want to have a personal chat, you can come uh, to our booth. Thank you, Dominique. Uh, thank you for this very clear uh, explanation of how important it is to, uh, to focus on, on uh, very good digital uh, experiences. Um, just for the audience, there's no questions at this point in the chat, but maybe a, a small clarification that since we are now in a Zoom meeting, if you want to uh, ask a question to Dominique, you need to do that in the on-air platform in the live Q&A section. Um, so let's just wait a few more minutes if there's any questions from the audience. Until then, I have, I have um, maybe one clarifying question already, Dominique. Um, I think you mentioned very well why um, Drupal agencies should focus on um, offering their customers more than just Drupal services, but making it really personal uh, and, and also a bit how they can do that using Mautic and other open source components. But what really is the benefit for such an agency in doing that, partnering with DropSolid over just doing it by themselves? Because a lot of those components are open and available for everyone to use. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, yeah, DropSolid offers a, a cloud platform, which makes it easy for you to, uh, to develop with these, uh, with these components. Um, you can put them together uh, on, on, your, uh, on your own platform. It's, uh, it's possible, but as you know, uh, you know me only is, a, is, a, is an engine. So we've built the interfaces on top of it. And uh, we also added the uh, AI segmentation uh, on top of it in the cloud platform. So um, although you would still have the open engine on, it's possible to have it on your premise. Um, the, the extra on top of it, we, we offer in, uh, in, in the cloud platform. And uh, also obviously as a, as a, a, in a partnership, we will, we will help you, uh, we will help you in sales in uh, getting, getting deals in and, uh, yeah. Also, uh, we, we're getting uh, we're getting leads from from all all across uh, the world. Uh, we will we will not be able to um, to do that alone. So that's also why we uh, why we need you as a as a partner to uh, to help these customers locally with their uh, strategy, UX design, with their implementation, with the optimization. Uh, because yeah, in the end, the platform is uh, is is just uh, is just a tool. It's, it's you as an agency that makes them uh, successful with it. Okay, thanks for, uh, for clarifying that. Um, I see no other questions appearing in the, in the chat. So I think we can, uh, we can close the session here as right. we're also reaching the, uh, the end time. If there would be anyone in the audience um, still having questions at a later point, of, point in time, um, yeah, you can reach out to, uh, to Dominique or the Drop Solid team via our booth uh, or via live meetings. So um, enjoy DrupalCon. Thanks for joining. Bye. Thanks. Bye.